Now, my friends, Dr. Hoop is back in the clinic. Let's talk about charging. The smaller our models get, the less flight time we tend to get out of one battery charge. So in order to get your daily dose of flying fun, you need a lot of batteries and you need to know how to charge a lot of batteries. That is quite difficult with stock chargers, even if you have a lot of them, because um, yeah, these little dongles do not show you any um, anything about the condition of your batteries, the, the voltage they currently have and how much energy capacity is pumped back into them during um, a charge cycle, which is both quite useful to make sure you get the best performance at the best um, lifetime out of your batteries. So today I'll show you a couple of alternatives. Option one is the high-tech X4 micro multi-charger also available on the brand name Sky RC. It has um, a DC 12 volt input and an AC 100 to 240 volt input. I usually use the 12 volt input to connect a three cell battery so I can run this thing on the go. Very important to note, these plugs here, these connectors, MX plugs, are not the same like they are on most of these small batteries. So don't plug your batteries straight in there unless you absolutely know it's an MX plug. Because if it's not, you'll ruin the battery connectors quite quickly. If you are using these hoop style batteries for the Inductrix or the Blade 90QX or any of the microplanes, you will probably need a bunch of these adapters to protect your battery connectors. I put a link to that in the video description. So the plugs look very, very similar, but they are not the same. So you plug the male end into the charger and then you can plug your battery into the other end. If you short press the button for that channel, it will show you the voltage of that pack. When you turn the dial, it will show you the charging current. You should charge these packs at 1C. 1C means at 205 milliamp hours capacity. You should charge them with 205 milliamps. No, it's not that accurate, but um, yeah, let's just set it to 200 milliamps, 0.2 amps. And then you long press the button to charge. LED turns red to indicate that it's charging and you can see it cycling through the voltage, the current and the capacity that's already been pumped in into the pack. So when the charging process is complete this will turn green and the voltage will probably say 4.2 volts and then you can read how much capacity what's was pumped back into this, which gives you an indication of um, how much you've taken out before and also about the battery condition. So if the battery capacity goes down, you will not be able to pump as much back into it and uh, you might consider replacing your batteries. So you can do that on four individual channels and change the current individually for each of them. It will also warn you when your battery voltage is getting too low. So even if you leave it switched on, um, you're not going to ruin your LiPo packs with that charger. Very nice tool. I like it. I use it a lot. Highly recommended little thing. Costs around 50 bucks. Option number two, a general purpose hobby charger with either a um, serial or a parallel connection. I put links to both of these cables in the video description. For parallel charging, make sure that your batteries have roughly the same voltage, e.g. that they're all discharged. Don't put a fully charged and a fully discharged pack together in parallel. That might damage them. These packs here all have between 3.8 and 3.9 volts, but I think up to 
0.2 or maybe even 0.3 volts of difference should not create much of a problem. Connect them all in parallel and then calculate the right charging current. If you combine four packs in parallel, they basically form a large pack of the same voltage and the accumulated capacity. So four 205 milliamp packs in parallel essentially form a large 1S pack with 820 milliamps. So that's what I'm setting the charger at. Let's see if you can read that. I'm charging at 820 milliamps and 1S. Start. So the current should go up to around 0 0.8 amps and when we're done we should see somewhere in the neighborhood of six to seven hundred milliamp hours charged back into the packs. The advantage of parallel charging is that you can plug in as many or as little batteries as you want. So you can use, well obviously four is the maximum here, but you could also use two or three batteries and um, the charger doesn't have to be very intelligent. These batteries will equal each other out by themselves. For serial charging, you need a little more complicated contraption. That's a serial cable which connects each cell individually to the balancer plug. So in this case, six packs in total. And the outer two packs are connected to the main charger input. So when you connect your batteries, they will essentially form one large pack with the same capacity as the individual ones, but with a higher voltage. So as I'm plugging them in, you can see the voltages popping up on the screen for the balance connection for the individual cells, but the main pack voltage is not displayed until I plug them in all. So that means with this cable, you have to use exactly six packs, otherwise it won't work. On the upside, you don't need to pay as close attention to have them all the same voltage because the balancer um, will actively treat the packs individually. So it's still it's not advisable to put a fully charged pack in there because they will just slow down the whole charging process. But they can have slightly different voltage, like 3.96 in this case and 3.80 and the charger will take care of that. Now to charge that, you need to have um, a 6S charging program with 205, well, let's put it to 200 milliamps. And um, you'll see the voltage goes up to um, a 6S voltage, whilst the current will remain at 200 milliamps or below. And you can see this pack is now already getting discharged to equal them out. So to summarize, the parallel charging allows you to charge as many or as little packs as you want depending on how many um, outputs you have available and you need to take care of them having a similar voltage whilst serial charging you require exactly as many cells as you um, as that adapter requires but it will do the balancing actively for you. That's it for Dr. Hoop's charging ABC. 
If you have any questions or comments, put them in the comments below. See you later.